In this video I'm going to show you how to take a already recorded MIDI track in Studio One 2.6 producer or professional and then record it in Notion 5 such that the bass notes are on the bass clef and the treble notes are on the treble clef. This is a rather complex procedure to explain but it's not so difficult once you see how it works. The first thing you want to do is you want to start Notion by itself and you want to check Notion preferences. On the audio tab you want to make sure that you have enabled rewire checked. On the MIDI tab you want to have the MIDI input set to a virtual MIDI cable. Now I'm doing everything on the Mac and the Mac by default provides virtual MIDI cables. On a Windows machine you will need to use a third-party virtual MIDI cable utility and there are several of those available. Once you have the preferences set up you then want to go into Notion score setup. You want to click on keyboards and you want to select piano. This will create a piano staff. Now you can exit score setup you can save and once it's saved you can then exit Notion. The next thing you want to do is to start Studio One and you'll notice that I already have a audio track for the voiceover and there's some MIDI here assigned just to a generic piano. Now the thing you want to do you want to go to Studio One you want to click on preferences and you want to click on external devices and then you want to add a new external device you want it to be a new instrument you can give it a name for example MIDI out you want it to receive from none you want it to send to a virtual MIDI cable now I'm doing everything on the Mac and the Mac has virtual MIDI cables and so I'm going to use IAC driver IAC bus 1 which is a virtual MIDI cable on the Mac. In Windows you'll need to use a third party virtual MIDI cable utility. These are available and they aren't difficult to find. You can go ahead and set the MIDI channels to all if you want to. You want to click on send MIDI clock use MIDI clock start and send MIDI time code. And you want to say OK and now you see that you have a MIDI out instrument. It's actually a virtual MIDI cable. And you want to say OK and then up here on your MIDI track you want to set its output to MIDI out which is the virtual MIDI cable. Now you're all fixed up there. You want to click on Browse. You want to click on Instruments and you'll see that there is a Notion instrument that has a, a rewire symbol next to it and you want to just drag that into the track lanes. You can open Notion here. This Notion instrument track establishes a rewire connection with Notion. At this point uh, Notion is running because you either started it when you created this uh, Notion instrument track or else you started it after you started Studio One. Either way the sequence is you start Studio One that makes it the rewire host controller then you start Notion 5. So what you have is you have the already recorded MIDI in the Studio One project. Uh, I've got the voiceover audio track and there's also a Notion Rewire instrument track. The MIDI is output to MIDI out. That's a virtual MIDI cable. And you have Notion configured to receive input from the virtual MIDI cable coming in on uh, whatever channel you're sending it on. Uh, at this point what you want to do is you want to click on the treble staff of the piano 
and then you want to click on this notion start recording button uh, I usually have a, a one bar count in but you, you can have no count in it doesn't matter I set the minimum velocity to 2 the minimum duration 20 milliseconds cord looseness to 2 split point this is where you control the split point I've got it set to middle C the notation I've got tuplets checked I don't check multi voice and multi-channel guitar doesn't apply the preset is keyboard so what happens is that when you click start recording uh, it should start recording the MIDI that's up here in the studio one project so studio one is going to be sending the MIDI through the virtual MIDI cable that you created called MIDI out and that's going to come into Notion and then Notion is going to record it on this piano staff Yeah, and then uh, as soon as you stop, uh, the MIDI is converted automatically to music notation, and you'll see that it does split, and it splits on middle C. So there, in the treble clef, there's no notes lower than middle C, which is C4 in scientific pitch notation, and the lower notes are all down here on the bass clef. And so that's what you want to do. Uh, it's not too difficult, but uh, not so easy to find out how to do it. Thanks.